All right, circling back to a story we told you about earlier, health professionals reporting more than 100 cases of a respiratory virus in Georgia. A lot of those cases are in children. Rejoining Camila Williams in studio to tell us what we need to watch out for. That's right. It's called respiratory syncytial virus or RSV for short. I spoke with the Warner Robins mom who's taking all the precautions she can to make sure her little ones stay well. They keep their hands clean and they're washing their hands with the hot water. Kajal Patel has two little ones of her own. She goes the extra mile to make sure they avoid illnesses. That they are eating, like taking like a good quality multivitamin that's got things like vitamin C and some good things like that. The CDC reports an increase in RSV cases among children in Georgia. While Patel's kids have not contracted the virus, she says it's still a concern for her. When they first were getting sick, it really was affecting me. Um, I, I would get really worried when they're running their fevers and like they're breathing hard and their chest is thumping, you know, I would get really worried about it. As a nutritionist, Patel's work involves reducing illnesses in people. She says rest is a priority if she feels one of her kids is getting sick. We're really strict about making sure the kids go to bed on time. We like the kids in bed by 730, especially during sick season. The CDC recommends children who test negative for COVID get tested for RSV. Dr. Edward Clark with Beverly Knight Olson Children's Hospital says RSV cases usually increase in September. But with the pandemic, it basically has been here in the middle of Georgia area. We have basically seen it's been fairly consistent. Patel has one message for parents. I think it's important as parents that the first sign of our kids being sick with anything that's respiratory, whether it's RSV or it is something like COVID, to take it seriously. I also reached out to Piedmont's Infection Prevention Department and they say make sure your kids wash their hands for at least 20 seconds with soap and water. They can sing their ABCs, you know, twice through and that can help them get there. And if they are sick, the best thing they can do is stay home. Yeah, thank you, Camila. Transmission of the virus can linger on surfaces for a few hours, so disinfectant wipes around the house can definitely reduce its spread.